guys, this is something brand new. I've never done anything like this before. I basically have a couple of diagrams pulled up here. I'm going to uh, just look at them and kind of go over just basic stretches that we've all seen. We've all probably done at some point. Um, we're going to do a few push-ups, a few jumping jacks. We'll see how it goes along with that and... Uh, you know, try to get the blood flowing today. How about that? Now, I don't know exactly how well my phone's gonna do. I'm used to my... I'm used to shooting everything with my little action camera. It has a wide angle lens that lets you see a lot. Like you can hold the camera here and pretty much get your entire body, your entire face and everything. So. These shoot a little bit different than your standard lens, phones, and uh, cameras, and such. So, this may be a work in progress. This is one uh, of a couple that we can do sitting down, actually. Now, I know a lot of people, before they do this, and they put it out there, they say, consult your physician. But let's face it, guys. If we can't do these few little movements, we probably don't need to be getting up out of bed. Very basic stuff here. So I'm looking at this little diagram here. We're gonna sit up nice and straight. Legs, I got my legs apart just a smidgen. I'm gonna sit up straight. I'm gonna keep my chin up straight. You wanna keep everything as much in alignment as you can. <clears throat> We're gonna take the left arm. Why the left arm first? I don't know. I'm going to take the left arm and we're going to bring it around slowly. And you're going to take your right arm and you're going to push on your elbow very gently and just stretch out your delts and your tricep area and your upper back. Your traps get in there as well. Your traps, your delt, tricep. All that gets involved. Keep your back nice and straight. Suck in your gut. Suck in that gut. And try to remember that. Uh, it helps to keep your core uh, strong and straight. And we all need that. And just hold it there for about a count of all oh, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. And see, even I forgot to keep my keep my uh, stomach sucked in. Keep that all nice and tight. You're gonna take your right arm, come around nice and easy. Now I don't have a lot of range of motion, especially in this arm, because I have problems. So I'm gonna do the best I can here. Suck in that gut, chest out, breathe. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's open up. Let's open up that chest. Suck in that gut. Keep your chest out. Keep your chin up. Open up. Twist. That really starts to stretch. All your delts down into your bicep, all in here. And of course, it all depends on your range of motion. All right, let's hold this for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Woo! Boy, that burns. <laughs> that burns pretty good right there. All right, guys, this one, we're going to just stay seated in your chair, and we're going to bend forward. Go ahead and put your legs somewhat close together. Make sure you breathe through this one. Breathe nice and easy. 
we're just going to bend forward and we're going to try to touch our toes from this seated position. You might not be able to go all the way down. I might not be able to go all the way down. Let's see what we can do. And we're going to hold it for a count of eight again. Just do it nice and easy as best you can. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to come up nice and easy. Now I did have my legs actually about so far apart. You gotta have room for that belly to kind of go. But I tried to stay sucked in just a little bit. Remember, always try to keep your, your torso, uh, your stomach and everything as tight as you can. It's not always easy. We're all guilty of sitting like this and letting our guts hang out and being gross. Let's learn to keep it sucked in, keep our chest out our chin up and look presentable look strong I learned some of this by watching Jean-Claude Van Damme's videos that he's put out very good teacher uh, just an all around good guy so anyway I'm looking at another picture here and this, this movement I'm going to actually turn around and show you one uh, just one part uh, we're gonna, I'm going to turn around, but you're essentially you're going to take, we'll start with the right arm. Now, not everyone has the same range of motion. Remember, you're going to come up with your right arm. You're going to bend it down and try to get it as far in the middle of your back, the top portion of your back, as you can. Like this. Some people might only go to here or here. But your goal eventually is to get it down to your top of your middle of your back there. You're going to take this hand. You're going to grab here. And we're going to hold for a count of eight. Okay? Nice and easy. Remember, keep your torso nice and tight, your chest up. Try to keep good posture. Easy. Grab here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're going to take your left arm. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to reach around with the right arm. And pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. should have looked something like this. Basically, you're wanting to kind of pull your side just a hair, pull your delts, pull all this upper area here. You're trying to get a good little stretch in both sides. <sighs> this is interesting, guys. Interesting. This one here, this one here is very simple. Keep your posture, keep your, keep your chest out, keep your stomach in. How you doing, David? Hope you have a good day. Just doing some basic stuff right now. We're gonna get into push-ups and maybe some jump, jumping jacks and stuff as well. <clears throat> this one here is a wrist curl. Very simple. It probably doesn't look very effective, but I'm sure um, it is. These things you have to do on a daily basis. None of us probably do them. You should always stretch your body out a little bit. Uh, 
just to get the blood flowing. So we're going to hold here. Hold your wrist nice and firm. About right here. Keep yourself straight. Nice and, nice and straight and sturdy. All right, chin nice and level, and you're just gonna easy breathe. And we're gonna twist the arm clockwise, and then we're gonna twist it counterclockwise. And we're gonna do reps of eight. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're gonna go counter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go to the left. I'm gonna go clockwise first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're gonna go counter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now what does that do? Well, it gives you a little bit of movement in the in the wrists, and if you put a little bit of effort behind it, you're also working out your forearms just a hair, stretching out all the tendons and stuff, and muscles kind of warmed up all in here. It's a basic movement. Hey, it's good stuff, right? <laughs> all right. So we're getting stretched out a little bit here, guys. All right, now we're going to stand up. Maybe. I know you can't see my legs real well. I don't even know if you'll get to see my head, but I'm looking to see. Oh yeah, you can see me. You can see me. All right. So in this, we're gonna do a basic jumping jack. Okay? We're gonna do one set of 10. How about that? Start off nice and straight. Make sure you're in control of your body. All right. You're going to breathe. You're going to stay nice and tight as you can. Okay. And a basic jumping jack is just, you know, this and this and this. Okay. Very simple. If it was any more difficult, I couldn't do it. Okay. So let's start with our feet together. All right, make sure you keep yourself nice and straight, good posture at all times, easy breathing. This is nothing difficult. Let's take it. We're gonna do a set of 10, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. that simple. You'll notice I kind of did a pause. Some people are, you know, kind of go uh, back to back quickly. I wanted to do a little pause to kind of help you to follow along. You can do them at your own speed. That's what I did. All right. Now, now, let's get on the ground and try to do some push-ups, okay? Uh, I don't care if you can do one push-up or 100 push-ups. It don't matter. We're just going to do a few. Nothing major. We're going to start it off easy. Um, let's do one set of five. We'll make it simple. Okay? Alright, guys. Now, there's a couple of different variations of the push-up. Um, there's the one that's easier and the one that's more standard and difficult. And I'm not sure 
I don't usually, I've never really done the easy ones. But I believe you start off like this. Okay? The easy ones are about like this. Try to keep your torso nice and tight still, your stomach sucked in. Try to remain in control of your body. Okay? You're going to have a nice posture. Have your arms about shoulder width to just outside of your shoulders. Uh, your arm placement is going to give you different results. You can do push-ups with, with them out further. You can do them with them under your, basically under your chin. You can even come back a hair under your chin. You can go narrow, you can go out just a bit, or you can go wide. Each one of those are gonna give you a different result and uh, a different workout on different areas of the muscles. And that's what I like to do. But right now, we're just gonna do one set of easy push-ups like this for everyone uh, who needs to do them this way, okay? One set of five. Hands about shoulder width apart, about directly eye level, okay? Nice back, nice posture, and we're just gonna push out five of these, okay? Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Did you hear that? Now, you seen how easy and basic those were? Pretty much anyone can do these. Very simple, very easy to do. Just always remember to try to have good posture while you're doing it. Breathe, don't stress yourself. Now we'll do uh, one set of five push-ups with the standard push-up position, okay? I like to put my feet against the wall. That way I've got something to kind of hold against. Kind of keeps me secure. And again, I'm gonna have my arms, my hands about just a little bit outside of shoulders width, okay? Good posture, we're gonna breathe. You're basically just gonna come up on your hands, get situated, try to remain calm, and go one, two, three, four, five, okay? Five basic push-ups. Very simple, very easy to do. I'm watching myself. Okay, I have pretty good form, pretty good. Now again, always try to keep your, your body nice and uh, stiff and, and a good posture and breathe. And remember that your arms can give you different workouts, the widths, whether they're up or back side to side, and uh, you can get a lot out of doing a push-up, okay? These are all really simple exercises, um, but as you can tell, it even gets me a little bit winded. So there is, there is a workout there to be had. Yeah, I think that's all I'm gonna do today. Uh, this is something really new, something different. I'm not an instructor. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I just watch other videos and I and I study them and I see how they do it and things that they say to do. And I look at diagrams uh, to help me out with picking out what to do here. So I'm no professional. I'm just someone who um, believes that we should keep in motion a little bit. Hey, this could be a daily thing, you know, just doing some basic stuff. And uh, I enjoyed doing it. So I hope you did. And I hope you'll, if you didn't join in, I hope you'll rewatch the video here and and uh, give it a shot. What can it hurt, right? But well, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And don't forget, get up, get out, get ready, do it to it. Even 
when doing a live stream of some basic stretches and movements. Appreciate you being here. See y'all later.